going on here? All right, today we have to figure out, have another issue. I'm trying to get internet at this place. And to do it, I have to install a grounding rod that's connected to the rest of our system. And my grounding rod is stuck. It's down about four and a half feet. We can't pull it out. So my son and I can figure out how to do it. He's, he's convinced that we can't get it up. And I'm convinced that we can. So here's my idea. This two by four, can you use this as a lever? This is a fulcrum and I got to figure out how to tie around um, this post. So my idea is use some sort of strapping like this. And I don't know exactly how that's going to work though. So we're going to see if this will work. that's gonna pull in the right spot. So these are, I'm just doing two, I'm just doing three half inches I think. See that? What? Okay. All right, that's right. You're just gonna snap the piece of wood. Well, something's gonna give, right? Just keep some pressure. Oh, we did it! Oh my God. Come on, Zion, come on. That is amazing. Did you guys just see that? Oh my gosh, incredible. All right, we did it. It was close to snapping the wood. So I just did, I think these are called half hitches, aren't they? No, it's not a clove hitch. I just did like three half hitches and it worked. That is like genius. If you had a lever long enough in a place to set it, you could move the world, huh? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> All right, that was exciting for me because I did not really know if that would work. Um, so I'm gonna show you real quick the knot I did. So if I'm gonna pull it that way, I wanna pull up that way. You, let's see if I can find a way to set this. You go around, so because you want to pull, like you want this top pole to pull against itself. So went around once, went around twice, and through the hole, and then I went around again a third time, and back through the hole like that. And so it's creating this chain of friction. And then I tighten them all together like that. So this pulls on this one, this pulls on that one, this pulls on that one, and they're all tensioning against themselves, so it doesn't come undone. The only other thing I think I would have changed is my two by. Let's see if you guys can see this. My two by I laid on the flat like this, and I probably should have laid it like that. It's much stronger in this direction. So I should have put it on the fulcrum, you know, like that, as opposed to on the flat. So next time I know, catch you guys on the next one.